What's going on everyone, Kellen Rack here. And today we're back with another episode of building a home YouTube studio. And today we're gonna to focus specifically on cameras. Let's get into it. So in the last video, I got a lot of comments saying that the camera I was using was incredibly expensive, which is true. It was a Canon 5D Mark IV. I had an expensive lens on there as well. So overall, we're talking a couple thousand dollars for the camera. And I felt that I didn't quite do you all justice in making that um, because while the setup and the lights and everything was cheap, the camera wasn't. So I wanted to do this video to show you that you don't need an expensive camera to get the look that you want, a look like this. And the first thing I will say is I'm actually not using that camera right now. I'm using a Canon 60D. This was the first camera I ever had and you can get it for way cheaper than the 5D, only a couple hundred bucks for a camera like this. So we're gonna look at that. I'll show you before and after of how it looks before the setup and then now. And then we're also gonna look at another camera that I think a lot of you might have. So stay tuned for that. I was supposed to make this video a long time ago and I just couldn't stop jamming. Sitting in my room and I keep jamming. Supposed to make a video to help the people. Can't stop. Anyways, let's get into it. So what's going on guys? Here I am with the Canon 60D. This is the before shot. 60D. All I've got going on here, and actually let me use my phone to show you the setup we're looking at. All I've got going on here, honestly, is a messy room. The light is still set up, but it's off. The only light we have here is the overhead. It's just a pretty standard setup, as you've seen in the other video and as you're seeing here. Nothing crazy going on. I'm leaving the background up because it's already been set up. So I just wanna show you really the big lighting difference and how these cameras can um, make a big difference and they're cheaper cameras and you can get a really nice difference regardless of you know the cost of the camera. So let's take a look at this. So this is our before. Again, background's already set up, so we're not gonna talk about that difference here. But we're gonna talk about how the difference in lighting and camera settings can make a drastic, drastic difference in your video. So let's look at the camera settings that we're using right now. You can see based on my lighting setup, I'm at a shutter speed of 40, I'm at an aperture of 4.5, and I'm at an ISO of 1600. So we're getting grainy footage. It's really not the best. Um, the light isn't doing what I need. I've got light coming in from outside. It's all over. The white balance is making me look pink. So just by doing a couple changes to our in-camera settings, which we can do on the Canon 60D, and by kicking on the light here, the umbrella light, which is really not that expensive, just probably 40 to 50 bucks, as I mentioned in the first video, we're gonna get a drastic difference in our look. So now I've flipped the light on and you can see here, we have the light, it's on, it's right in my face, it's good, it's soft light because of the umbrella. Now we need to make some adjustments to our actual camera settings. So if we look here, we're still at shutter speed of 40. I wanna get that to about 50 because I wanna double my frame rate here. So I want that at about 50. Then I wanna open up my shutter or my aperture as much as possible. So with this lens, I can open it up. It's just a kit lens, very cheap lens, so I can only go to 3.5. So we're not gonna get a crazy blurred background, but we are getting a nicer background than the 4.5, nothing drastic, but hey, it's a kit lens. We're doing the best we can here for the price that we're coming in here at. Our final adjustment's gonna be our ISO. So right now we're at 1600, and we just wanna dial this in down until we're properly exposed. So let me show you my final camera settings here. Shutter speed of 50, an aperture of f3.5, and an ISO of 640. Still probably a little high of an ISO, but because these kit lenses are on the cheaper side, they can't open up much more than an f3.5. Um, so you have to leave your ISO a little bit higher. But honestly, I think we're still getting a really good look out of a much cheaper camera. So I hope this illustrates the point that the camera doesn't necessarily matter quite as much. The major difference comes from the lens. We're not getting as blurry a background. However, you could still use a cheap camera like a 60D and put on a nicer lens if you do have one, or you can check out my video on the 50 millimeter lens. That is uh, only about $100, $125. It opens up to F 1.8. That'll give you a very blurry background. Because it's a 50 millimeter, you'll have to push it a little further away from you, but you'll get a really nice blurred background with that and it's not too expensive. So something to think about here. Here's the before, and this is the after. 
So now let's look at another camera that a lot of you I think might have, and let's see how that does. We're talking about the iPhone. The iPhone. And now you could use any phone you want here, but we're gonna use the iPhone. I have an 8 Plus, so not even the newest iPhone. We're gonna look how it does. So here's our shot with just the overhead lights on, nothing else going on. The iPhone has auto settings, so it's gonna do all of that for you. Once we kick on the light, let the iPhone adjust. We can add a little bit of color to the background. We've already got the yellow lightning bolt in the background, which does add a nice touch. Consider that when you're doing your setups, having some light in the background, as I've talked about in the other video, just to give it a touch here and a touch there. And then we'll see how the difference looks. So this is the before. And this is the after. Let me show you what the setup looks like. Now, if we're talking cheap, this is very cheap. We've basically got a stool in front of me with a bunch of books on it and then my phone. And now what's key to remember is that my phone is backwards. I'm not using the front facing camera because I want the highest quality. So I can't actually see what I'm shooting. I have to do some testing or have someone watch it, make sure I'm framed properly. But again, this is an iPhone. We can't expect anything too crazy. And I think it honestly looks really nice. And what I want to prove to you here, and obviously, again, with the iPhone, we're not getting that really nice blurred background as we would with the 5D and a nice lens on the 60D. But what I want to show you is that you can do a nice setup with any camera. It doesn't have to be anything too, too powerful. And a lot of people have been commenting on the other video that the camera was so expensive and all this, but I want to show you that you don't need the nicest camera to get these shots. You can buy the umbrella light for relatively cheap. I'll link that below again. And you can get lights in the background and on the walls, and you don't need a tripod. You can use a stool and some books. You can find ways to use things that you have around the house to get your setup. And on camera, it'll look great. And it might look crazy and messy all around like my room does right now. But through these settings, you can end up having a really nice setup. So I hope this helped. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was able to give you some inspiration for your home setup. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you have questions about any of the items I'm using, let me know. I try to link those for you. Go ahead and subscribe and like the video, and we'll check you guys in the next one. Thanks.